my gosh. They always shove like seven napkins in here. Do you think they do it based on customer? They're like, that girl needs napkins. Or she looks like she hoards napkins. So we're gonna give her some for her collection. It's called customer service. The inside of the shirt not being printed as well is such a cop out. Just print the whole damn shirt. Okay, we're doing a Q&A on the channel today. Does that rhyme? Q&A on the channel today. La 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 la. Cause we're doing a Q&A on the channel today. Da 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 da. Lights, fireworks, boom. Someone gets shot out of a cannon. Oh, they hit the crowd. That's gonna do something. Some damage in the fourth row. Uh, every six months or so, I do a Q&A on the YouTube channel. Well, I just find it interesting. It's like a little video diary. I will link the playlist with all the other videos if you want to go watch them. Back to back to back, you might learn a lot about me. Okay, we trying. I'm trying to see if things have changed, have stayed the same, probably stayed the same. I'm a creature of habit. Or if I'm a completely different person, which I don't think is the case. <laughs> Plus, it's fun to see what kind of questions you guys come up with after all the years. <laughs> What is this, like a retirement video? After all my years on YouTube. I got all of these questions from my Instagram stories, uh, YouTube community tab, and my Patreon. So thank you so much. Some of them, if I already answered it in a previous video and I remember answering it, I don't answer it again. Sorry, but I know the answer's out there somewhere. If you just believe. And also just to cover the bases of a lot of the questions, I don't think I do any self-care for myself. I don't have any plans to travel. I don't live my life around the my travel plans. Like, oh, this year we're going to Cape Cod and then the Montana mountains. I'm like, no, I, a trip will just happen upon me. <laughs> um, I'm not currently dating anybody, nor am I trying to date anybody right now. A little busy. People always ask me like in some form of like, if I found happiness, whoa, that sounds like a question for my therapist. Either have I found happiness or how have I found happiness? Like just assuming that I am just holly jolly Christmas over here. That's such a tough question. That's like a seven parter question. That's tough. Have I found happiness in bits? I guess it's not a yes or no, okay? I printed the questions out, because that's how I be doing things. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna put it in my sister and we'll cover. Great, it's like a little interview. Someone said, fake or real Christmas trees? I, I, I don't care about either. We've never had a real Christmas tree. I guess I don't know the joy of having one. Fake Christmas trees do look a little less full. But more importantly, I do not understand the obsession of Christmas trees. When people are like obsessed about the fake versus real debate, like if that's like the hill that you wanna die on, I'm not that invested in them. What's something that made you laugh today? It is the beginning of the day. It is 8.30 in the morning. I have not been hooting and hollering yet. I'll let you know if I find something amusing. What is my go-to beer after a long week? Miller Lite, Draft, Shot of Fireball. How tall are you these days? I'm hoping I'm still five, six and a three quarters. I hope I'm not shrinking yet. I think I found a couple of gray hairs the other day and I was like, you know what? I'm, I'm, I'm going downhill. Oh, shillelagh. I like being this tall. Melissa said, pick three friends for a scary movie. Who survives? Who gets sacrificed? I don't, what's another way to go? I would say Cole. Courtney and Allie. I feel like Cole would be like the comedic relief of the group. I think he would die first only because Allie's a fighter and Courtney can run. So, uh, you know, they would be getting, or I would die first. It'd be Cole or me dying first, but it would somehow be like some comedic relief. He would make a joke like, oh, but he was kind of cute though. And I'd be like, oh my God, yeah, my spleen's falling out of my body. You know, Cole would be a good time. Cole would like somehow, he's very good at planning and like traveling i feel like somehow he would be like oh i have this safe house we could just run to the safe house in the woods that i found that i planned that's actually an airbnb that i rented out before i ever knew that we were in a scary movie ally and me would be like whooping ass um you know stuff like that and then yeah courtney's a runner courtney would survive she'd run away and i wouldn't see her the rest of the video and then she would facetime me from her house when she got back she'd be like that was nuts but I just, I just ran back to my house. I'd be like, oh. What's Riley's favorite toy? Riley likes this blue Frisbee that it's like, he can fold it in half, but it has a hole in the middle. He loves that damn Frisbee. Favorite American serial killer? My, I don't have one. I like true crime stuff. I listen to podcasts, the new documentaries that come out, but I don't, I, I only like them because I like a good story. It's all about the details. I like trying to solve a mystery. And when you watch a documentary, the mystery's most of the time already solved. And I also like a well-rounded story. I don't remember any of the details. The only one I ever remember is that the John Wayne Gacy, the clown guy I think hid all of his bodies like in the floorboards of his house I don't that is like stuck in my memory because he lived in the, like the Chicago land area that's all I ever remember about anything someone said what are you watching right now I just finished Outer Banks season four hated it not a big fan the storyline the special effects the fact that they get away with everything there's no repercussions for any actions and then I'm also back to watching Gossip Girl it's going okay the show bores me and interests me at the same time confusing um I asked myself what's my favorite type of glue thanks for asking you're welcome I love hot glue guns. I like Elmer's glue, but 
my goodness, does that just go right through paper. If you're putting two pieces of construction paper together and you put that loose Elmer's glue on there, it just stains and ruins every single piece of paper. Then there's like craft glue, which is more tacky. I think it's a whole gimmick just for you to buy more expensive glue. Then there's super glue that comes out of the little bottle. Love that stuff. Really helps you in a pinch. I hate that like I get glue on my hands. They're immediately always stuck together. It sticks to the bottle. The bottle gets sealed and super glued, closed I love glue! Don't even get me started on paste. Barbara said, what's your all-time favorite country song? And as I was thinking about it, um, I like Mr. Mom by Lone Star. Crayons go up one drawer higher. Here's a good song. Two Dozen Roses, I think by, is it Shenandoah? If I had two dozen roses. Um, Little Rain by Morgan Wallen. I don't know if I'm the biggest fan of Morgan Wallen as a person. Certainly not. But the Little Rain. You know, little Rain. Done on, on a window pane. I just re-remembered that song. It's great, fantastic. Um, and then Good Directions by Billy Currington. Thank God for good directions. That's a very hard song for me to sing. <laughs> and Turn of Grains. They're older songs, but they're classic. They got the little punch to them, they're fun. Someone said Soft or Firm Pillow. I have been having the hardest darndest time with trying to find a good pillow. I have a really loosey goosey uh, pillow with a satin pillowcase on it, so it's really soft, but it holds no structure. And then I have like a really firm pillow that almost is like a neck breaker because it just will not mold to anything. It's like sleeping on a rock. So sometimes I sleep with them together, but I've been having such bad neck problems. Oh, it feels like almost like a pinched nerve in my neck. Um, and I cannot figure it out. I'm on a pillow journey right now. Uh, someone said favorite movie line. The ones I remember the most, Big Daddy. Hooters, Hooters, Hooters. Hip Hop Anonymous. <laughs> you want chocolate cake? And then probably just like Dumb and Dumber. We ain't got no food. We ain't got no jobs. Our pets have fallen off. You sold our dead bird to the blind kid. Mock, yeah. Ing. Yeah, you gonna buy me a diamond ring. Pull over. No, it's a cardigan, but thanks for asking. Um, someone said, how's improv going? I've been taking improv classes. It was in a vlog I made one time. It's good. I'm doing another round of classes. I'm, I'm starting to get into the transition of I'm not always scared to go to class, like scared that I'm gonna suck, scared that I'm gonna mess up. And I'm moving into a little more of the excited zone where I'm like, this is fun to go to class. Like this is a fun break from my week to go do this. I am learning. I am getting better. Sometimes I leave class and I'm like, you're a big dum dum. You were messing up the scenes. You don't know nothing. I still feel like that, but it's it's good. <laughs> What was your favorite school lunch and where did you sit at lunch? That is such a good question. I think I've, I don't know if I've talked about it on the channel. I, oh, I would either bring lunch or get lunch at school. I thought the lunches at school were pretty decent, pretty good. Pizza sometimes was a hit or miss. They had like Bosco sticks. They had this thing called, my mouth is watering. They had this thing called a tostada salad. It was literally just like those yellow, those yellow corn chips uh, with lettuce and meat. And then they would put this damn sauce on this tostada salad. I don't know what it was. I think about it all the time. Also, they had like the snack shack at high school when I went there and they had like this ice cream, some of the best ice cream you've ever had. They had like strawberry and vanilla and then they had these like, really soft chocolate chip cookies. That was all great. Um, a lot of my friends towards the end of our high school career were like, let's go out. Like we got the privilege to go out to lunch to eat. So like juniors, seniors could leave. We all had cars, whatever. Everyone always wanted to leave. I want to go here. I want to go out to eat here. I want to go to this girl's house. And I'm like, we only have like 40 minutes. I want to eat lunch, sit down in this classroom and just like veg out and talk to you guys. I don't want to get in the car and then order my McDonald's and then shove it in my face and then go back to school. Everyone always wanted to go out and like the freedom of leaving. I was like, I'm okay sitting here. And I would just sit with... Pretty much the same, my, whoever my friends were, I would just sit with them at lunch. Uh, we, I didn't jump around tables and we pretty much sat in the same spot. I don't remember thinking about it a lot. Like, it wasn't like a big deal. It was like, oh, we all have this lunch period together? Okay, let's sit here and then like, we'll just, we'll just sit at this table most days unless someone else is sitting there. One time there was like a food fight. These two kids sitting at the end of the table decided to get into a fight and this kid took, we used to have mashed potato bowls, like the KFC ones. This kid like took his whole bowl of mashed potatoes and hit the other kid like in the side of the face with it. It was like in his ear and then I looked down and part of the mashed potatoes was like in my backpack but on the side, like where you put your water bottle in the side and the mesh, the mashed potatoes like got into like the mesh the mesh holes of my backpack. And I just remember turning around and be like, really? Really, we're gonna start a fight right now? You're gonna get your mashed potatoes in my backpack? Why? What is the point? It wasn't even a fight. He threw one bowl of mashed potatoes and it was done. I need to start keeping floss in my car, apparently. Or my teeth are shifting. Um, what's your favorite bit to do? Uh, whenever I drop something on the ground, I pick it up slowly and I just go, oh, I'm getting too old for this. Just picking stuff up to say it in the presence of people that are at least 10 years older than me. Someone asked me what my favorite Thanksgiving dish is. I, you know what? It's not always about the dish, it's about the plate as a whole. I just want everything to taste 
like I want it to taste. If I have a good plate of turkey and sweet potatoes and the green bean casserole, which I could arguably is my favorite dish is the green bean casserole. If the mashed potatoes just suck and it's ruining the vibe of the plate, the whole thing sucks. Uh, my thoughts on hippos. I thought they were cute little animals. Everyone portrays them in children's books as cute little animals. I think they're actually crazy dangerous and will swim underwater, grab you, drag you under, kill you. They always have huge teeth. They're always cracking open watermelon and pumpkins and whatnot. I think they have been misrepresented in literature just kind of thing everyone thinks that sharks are like the worst thing ever i think hippos they've made hippos seem like the nicest animal in the wild that you could just jump on its back and ride it i don't know that much about hippos look at this man walking by he's like who's the girl thinks she's filming myself i got a lot of things to say sir would you like to be in my video what do you think about hippos he's like better than rhinoceros is i'm like oh my strong take are they both endangered that is a Google search for another day. Nick asked, what are tips for managing time effectively as a content creator? I think they said that they're like a stream, streaming and Twitch player, is that it? I have known nothing about that. Um, they said that you never seem to sacrifice quality or quantity, because I put out two videos a week. And they said, how do you do it? Is it all that iced coffee? I cannot believe that I have somehow managed the facade that I am keeping it together over here. I cannot believe, I can't, that's a huge accomplishment to be like, oh, they think that I'm keeping it together. That I have a work life, a social life, a personal life, a blah, 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 da, 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 and I get two videos out per week and I make it look easy. That's crazy. That's why I keep the content schedule Monday, Friday. I really, I'm really trying to stick to that, you know, and I, I'm trying because it's like, well, at least the videos come out Monday, Friday. <laughs> I, you have an expectation and I try and hold myself accountable for it. Um, Tips for managing time effectively. Oh my gosh. I've started planning out my content like a month in advance. I try and think of the video ideas and what I want to do. And oh, I haven't done a never have I ever in a while. And I try and do one PO box a month and I'll try and just plan them ahead of time. So I, I, t I take out the having to think of ideas, you know, and I, and then I just, I just look at what I need to get done and then I just try and do it. I really try and stop myself when I'm thinking about the video too much. When I asked people for Q&A questions and I was like, oh, I got to gather them from here and here and here and I got to put them in a Word document and then I got to, you know, I can't answer all of them. So I got to pick the, what? Relax. It's not, this isn't like a full blown movie or it's even a TV commercial. You're just answering questions. Put them in a Word document, space them out, print it out, go do it. Managing time effectively. I also, I'm trying to get myself out of the, the brain Thing where I go like, oh, I have a meeting at five and it's two o'clock. Okay, well that meeting's gonna be up in a couple hours. So I really can't get anything done until then because I wanna make sure I get to the meeting on time. Girl, it's two to five. You have three hours of time to get videos edited, to get something filmed. You don't have to dedicate a whole day to get work done. Do it, do, la do all your work in the little time slots of the day. You know, do not tell yourself, oh, well, I got the thing at five, so I'm just, I can't really do anything until then. No, 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 no. You could do everything until then. I'm really trying to get myself into that where it's like, do it, just do it, just do it. Don't think about it. Just do it. Just film it. Just edit it. Just get it done. Blah, blah, blah. Just the less worrying and anxiety you can have about it. Like keep snapping, keep acting like you are like your own manager and snapping yourself out of it. You're like, no, no, stop thinking about that. Stop thinking about that and doing that and doing the most. Just get it done. You spend 10 minutes thinking about it. You could have had four clips edited. Get it together. Have you decorated for Christmas? I haven't even taken my house. Halloween decorations down. My nephew Jamie submitted a question. He wanted to know what my favorite color is. It's still purple, my guy. Would not all of us change our favorite color on the day-to-day -day basis? Mine's always been purple, always gonna be purple. Splashing some orange in there. Most embarrassing behind the scenes moments of me filming. You know what? I kind of just try and go about my business and not involve anybody in any of my filming. <laughs> the hardest part for me is when I have to do like brand deals and I have to go to a company and be like, hi, I'm a content creator and I need to order this food and I also need like seven to go containers because they have to look specific in the video It's hard to explain like what I am doing because it's not the normal ask They're like it's a restaurant sit down It's a drive through place order or get out sometimes I don't even know why I explain myself if I ordered a chicken sandwich and was like hi I also need two more to go containers on top of that I think most of the time they would just give them to me no questions asked But when I come in talking about like oh, it's my job to do this and I need this They also they like lock up and they're like well, what, what, what? why do you need to go containers? I'm like because I would like to to go on out of here. I would like to get far away from this interaction. <laughs> um, Hannah asked, uh, what are three things on your bucket list? Uh, pivot the question, does everyone have a bucket list? Does everyone just have things that they want to do that so they just rattle off? I, 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 those, I don't have those things readily available. I have a list on a post-it note somewhere saying all the things I have done that were like major accomplishments or like, I've been, 
I can't think of any. That's why I have a post-it note. I can't even remember stuff I've done. You think I'm going to think of stuff I want to do? No. Uh, white water rafting. Love to do that. Uh, 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 hot air balloon. And, uh, spooky list, spooky list. What things I want to get? Things you want to try? Do you have to actually get them done or do you just attempt them? Um, oh my gosh. Thinking of the bucket list itself sends me more on a spiral than actually doing any of the things. I can't think of a third. We'll leave it open-ended. It's a two-thing bucket list. <laughs> Would you rather go, like, into the deep ocean or to outer space? Both of them being safe. The fact that you had to put on there both of them being safe, I, I, I guess space... Because I've been in water before, the deep water, it just gets darker. I guess space, if it would take like less than a day, yeah. Someone said, why so funny? I don't know. Funny because want to. Wow. I do do. Uh, why are you doing it in the garbage? Uh. Favorite meal to eat going out? I love a good CBR pizza that's a chicken bacon ranch pizza with lettuce on it. Sometimes I have to go to the store and get my own shredded lettuce to put on the pizza. That's fine. That's worth it. Or I go out and I get tacos. I get three tacos, two shredded chicken, one steak, and a corn tortilla with cilantro and onion with a side of rice. That hits every time. Indiana, I don't know what's in my eye. Indiana said, what's one thing day to day that you could change that would make you happier? Indiana, if, I, if it could make me happier, don't you think I would be doing it? <laughs> what is in my eye? Just kidding. We all have things that we could be doing better. Uh, get off my phone more. Get off the doom scrolling, get off the social media, get off my phone. Me doing things on my phone that are unproductive, make me feel bad about myself, or are non-work related. Why are you even on your phone? Put it down. Throw the brick of technology away. Someone said, do I sit or do I hover on the toilet when I use a public restroom? Uh, I'm sitting down. Listen, I, this is too much weight to be hovering if I really have to. I don't try and go to the bathroom in public. I, I just, if I, okay, so yeah. If I do fully sitting down. I didn't know we were hovering. No one gave me the hovering memo. Are toilets gross? Yeah, everyone's putting their butts on them. I've never even thought about that before. It's I don't put that much thought into it. I'm glad I don't. I just be plopping down so I could do some plopping of my own. Flush it. Go. I didn't know we were hovering. I didn't know. My friends brought that up like I like, uh, feel like six months ago at a bar one time and I was like what? And everyone was on the consensus of hover and I was like no 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 no. We're living two different lives. <laughs> Kristen from the Patreon said, when you were in high school, did you imagine you'd be doing this now? Absolutely not. People were not being like, I want to be a content creator. They were not doing that. That was not, a, I wasn't taking AP world history and AP English to be like, I want to make videos on the internet. No, no. I remember like the school guidance counselor when they were trying to help you pick colleges and whatever. She had to like sit me down and have a talk and be like, she had to pull the information out of me. The, the, what's that called? Not the, me like admitting the admittance admittance the confession out of me she's like what do you want to do and i was like i i don't know i i like um you make people laugh i like to, i want to be a radio dj i thought i wanted to be a radio dj and then she's like okay cool here's a couple of schools that offer programs like that or there was like a i almost went to this like i think it was like a nine month program to be a radio dj we toured the whole place i wasn't a real college it's just like this program Ugh, i almost did that I went to college for the college experience. I'll admit that. Scouts honor. I don't think a lot about the future, and I don't know why. But in high school, they had to pull it out of me that I wanted to be a radio DJ. And then I got to college, took a couple radio DJ classes, had my own shift at the radio station, and was like, I don't want to talk to myself in a booth on the fourth floor of this building at 8 o'clock at night. I don't want to do that. Tis not for me. Someone asked me if I was gonna go. I've answered this question before, but if someone said, I like the way they phrased it, they said, if you were gonna go to a matchmaker, 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 make me a match, find me a fun, and you had to describe to them your ideal type of person, what would it be? Okay, they gotta be funny, hilarious even. Uh, they have to be kind, open minded, like socially aware, and also like social at a party. Like, I'm gonna go get a drink and you go to the snack table and we'll meet back up. I just need someone to go with the flow. I need someone uh, who wouldn't yuck my yum. I do a lot of weird things. I don't have a normal job. I don't want anyone to be like, oh, what type of video are you filming? Oh, you're gonna do like a Q and A in your car. I never wanna get the, like the head, the head bob eye roll. Like, don't ever yuck my yum. Don't ever like talk down about my hobbies and what I do and yada, yada, yada. When it's, when I'm not harming nobody. I'm just, being creative and goofy and fun. Roll with it or get lost. Um, I want someone who's taller than me. More importantly, broader than me. I've got pretty broad shoulders. I'm a big gal. If we're going in for a hug, I want to feel like you're hugging me, not I'm hugging you. You know what I'm talking about? The matchmaker would be like, okay. Funny, broad-shouldered 
man who doesn't, what did you say? Yuck your yum? I'm like, yuck my yum. You know, be part of the bit. <laughs> uh, Zoe had lots of questions on the Patreon. One of them was, what, what's one song you could have written yourself? So well worded. And they said it like in the sense of like, you feel it so deeply. Like you resonate with this song so hard that you're like, I could have written that. I feel that. Um, my song is Paralyzing by Scar. And I, no further questions. No further explanation. Someone said, what's your favorite way to eat a cracker? Oh my goodness. I love a good charcuterie board. Doesn't have to be anything crazy. I just want a certain type of cheese and a certain type of cracker. Townhouse, uh, the buttery townhouse crackers. Those are great. Uh, maybe like a string of mozzarella cheese with some, uh, what's those, wheat thin tomato basil. Those hit the spot. The cracker sandwiches with like the cheese. Those are way better than the peanut butter ones. I love crackers. I can't imagine a world where you just don't like crackers. Not that you can't have them because dietary restrictions. Just saying like, I don't like crackers. Not really into crackers. I'm like, there's gotta be thousands of different types of crackers and cracker toppings. These are made with these products and these are made with it and these are buttery and these have little seeds in them and these are, how could you not find one that you like? Tamri said, how did you get the confidence to do improv class? They said that there's a lot of things I wanna try but I don't wanna try them alone. And I think they said they're a little bit of an introvert. How did I get the confidence to the improv class? I think we need to zoom out and remember that you're, if you see, watch anybody online, you're only seeing like 10% of their life. I've been wanting to do improv for 10 years. How did I get the confidence to do improv? class I waited 10 years of being scared to do it and then I finally got so mad at myself for not just doing it that I did it okay don't wait 10 years don't be like me that is like such a human condition to be like I'm scared to do it I don't want to do it like I'm anxious I'm nervous and then we put it off put it off put off and then we finally do it someone else comes along and they're like oh my gosh how'd you get the confidence to do that I'm like it took 10 years all I have to do is show up sign up for the class show up and then I'm I'm doing it let me be a cautionary tale someone asked me if I've always been so low maintenance and then they referenced me having like the messy bun never wearing makeup and wearing comfy clothes I don't I I part of me I feel like there's multiple factors on that question is that considered low maintenance sometimes it feels like I just I just do all that because I don't try I don't know how to really do my hair I'm learning how to do my hair in my late 20s um i don't know how to do makeup uh whenever i wear a lot of eye makeup it makes my eyes very heavy which then makes me sleepy um or i wear comfy clothes oh i wear comfy clothes because why would i wear uncomfy clothes and also like i guess that is the answer i don't know if that is considered like low maintenance to other people like there's not like a lot of <laughs> like a car there's not a lot of upkeep <laughs> I think a lot of times all of that just comes out of insecurity to not do any of those things well. If I don't know how to perfectly curl my hair, am I gonna curl my hair for every video? No, because I just wanna make the funny videos and make the videos and I'm not worried about my hair. Um, I don't wear makeup because I don't wanna come on camera with like big splotchy makeup that's not blended in well because I don't know how to do it and then that be the focus of the video. Comfy clothes, I love t-shirts and sweatshirts. Who doesn't love a t-shirt and sweatshirt? I love wearing comfy pants. I don't really like wearing pants in general. I always wear shorts. I don't know, part of that whole combination of how I am feels like a big insecurity for me where it's like, I just don't know how to do any of those things. I'm not very girly. I don't invest a lot of my time into like appearance because um, I'm just not good at it. And I hope that people are interacting with me for more than my appearance. They see me and understand me and like my personality. That, it, it, you know, I like to say that it'd be like, oh, I really want people to like see me. That also just comes from insecurity. I don't know how to do any of those things. And I've never focused my time on any of those things. I'm very conflicted on that question, you know? I feel like you revealed like an insecurity of mine, which is fine. I feel like we could all connect the dots. Yeah, I, 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 I there's nothing cooler to me than a person who can walk in both worlds and do it well. Someone who can do the messy bun and the comfy clothes and this, and then they could also do the makeup and the hair and the dress nice and the da da da. They know how to act and they're like blah blah blah. Someone who can walk in both worlds and do it well, I think that's great. I think whenever I am putting an effort into my hair and my makeup and my appearance, I feel like I'm a, such a fake and a fraud. It feels so like foreign to me and it just like all I want to do is just go back to like me, my default mode. But then I'm not like a well, but then I kind of look at that as like I'm not a well-rounded person because I've just like stayed in the lane of not trying. Oh, I don't know. Good question. That's going to make me spiral. Thank you so much. <laughs> I'm sure there'll be a ton of comments about that. Like, no, it's fine. It's fine. Okay. I'm getting coffee. <laughs> Someone asked me where my obsession of coffee came from. I don't even, I don't know if the word was obsession or did my love, my love for coffee. I don't remember. I don't know. My parents always drank coffee growing up. The only, the earliest memory I have of drinking coffee is me in high school, not even that long ago, when I could finally drive in senior year. I remember a senior year because I had journalism first period. Journalism. 
I would stop at 7-Eleven and get their iced coffees or their hot coffees. I don't know if they had iced coffee back then. I would get a 7-Eleven coffee and then go to school because I remember drinking it in that first period. And then when I went to college, I didn't drink a lot of coffee. I wasn't making coffee at my dorms or my houses. And I did not go to Dunkin's. Uh, there was a Starbucks near town and like the campus had a place that made coffee. I just like an excuse to leave my house. I think all of that literally started when the social media stuff started because it was like the pandemic and like we couldn't leave our houses back in 2020. And I was like, all right, well, if I do leave my house with like limited human interaction, I'm just going to go get a coffee and then come back. Where's like the major harm in that if we're wearing masks or whatever, whatever. And I've definitely said before, it's never about the coffee. It's more about like the sugar. And I think I just, I'm a big fan of sugar. <laughs> and I like the, like the reason to be, leave my house. Could the car stop dinging? Um, update on my coffee. Oh, she didn't even put a sticker on my coffee because she knows it. Update on the coffee place that my account there, they call me Kristen. Not even Christina, not Kristen, Kristen. Sometimes when I go there, the one girl that works there, she literally, as I walked in, as today, I just walk in and she goes, I strawberry white mocha. Like that's what she calls me. Oh, hi, I, str I strawberry white mocha. And then she listens for me ordering just to make sure I'm still ordering my regular. Ooh, she makes the coffees good though. Kayla asked, what was my favorite kid as a toy? I just asked my mom. She said, you didn't like Barbies. You didn't like dolls. Uh, love stuffed animals, love Beanie Babies. She said, I walked around with my blanket all the time. Wouldn't give it up. It's it's packed away somewhere in this closet right here. Anything stuffed animal related or Winnie the Pooh rocked. Oh, cute dog. She's got a cute, nice short haircut. Ooh, and her shoes are cute. Ma'am, look at you. All cute and shit. There's another dog. Whoa. That looks like a dog from the daycare. It can't be. <laughs> Someone asked about my, my cartilage, my jewelry. She talked about my jewelry journey. She had gotten a cartilage pierce, three cartilage piercings and it was healing. She asked, asked about my cartilage piercing. I think I have 13, the last time I counted, 13 in the ears and the nose. Have I not, did I ever publish the video of me talking about my piercings? I had a whole video about like my jewelry journey, just saying where all my piercings were from and how did they go and like when I got them. Did I ever publish that video or did it get cut on the editing room floor? And by that, I just mean me in my office. First piercing I ever got was a cartilage piercing. I got it in the mall. I got it done by a gun. Worst decision ever. That one sits wonky as hell. I would love to do an extensive deep dive of everything. Let me know. That's my question back to you guys, I guess. It says, would you rather, ah, this one has to be read in full. Would you rather fall asleep with ease whenever you want? Parentheses. No laying in bed replaying how you farted when you bent down to get the dog food off of the bottom of the cart uh, when you were checking out at the grocery store endlessly until you finally pass out full of distress and anxiety or wake up without any struggle every time, no matter what time of day, how long you slept, etc. So would you fall asleep easily or would you get up effortlessly? Are, are we doing the extreme of like, if I can get up easily no matter how long i've slept no matter how long. does it mean that it's impossible for me to get to bed or is it just like however i get to bed now but also i get the superpower of waking up if that's the case get up sleep two hours get up effortlessly am i dragging butt the rest of the day maybe but like the getting up part great i have such a hard time of setting an alarms four five six seven eight nine ten alarms just keep sleeping through them part of my dream is me hitting the phone and turning it off it's hard to get up in the morning i'm also but i am a morning person when we're, we're like when i'm on trips with people i am like Let's go, I am a morning person and the day just started and me ba 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 ba. It doesn't take that much for me to fall asleep. I just need like a podcast blaring in my ear. I don't know anybody who just like alarm clock rings. They're like, ah, okay, I'm awake. Time to start the day. I don't know anybody who does that. If anything, all of us are just rolling out of bed. No one is like, mm -hmm. whose brain is just like on and we're turning it on and it's a switch on and off and on. What's it like being a goober? Fantastic. That's how I live my life. All right, thank you guys so much for the questions in the Q&A. Very good questions, I appreciate you. I'm gonna answer more of them over on the Patreon. That video's gonna come out Wednesday as part of the Sips and Spills. Thanks for watching, like, subscribe, be wary of hippos, and I hope if you're ever in a scary movie setting, I hope you survive. <laughs> I hope if you ever find yourself in a scary movie, you learn how to kick, punch, and run quickly. What? <laughs> I don't think I have any actual redeemable skills to survive a scary movie. I could chalk your ear off. I'm a yapper. I could distract them while everyone else runs away. I don't run fast. I don't know how to handle weapons. I barely know how to handle myself. I got bad spatial awareness. I'd be bumping into him. I'd be like, just, he wouldn't even have to hit me with the hatchet. I'd be bumping into the hatchet by accident. Oh my God, your hatchet hit my liver. <laughs> Sorry, didn't see you there. Standing behind a door. Creepy. <laughs> we got a peeping Dom over here. Slasher. <laughs>